oil with a density of 870 kg per meter cubed is being pumped at a rate of 0.08 cubic meters per second by drawing 36 kilowatts of electric power into its electric motor. The inlet and outlet diameters of the pipe are 6 and 8 centimeters respectively. If the pressure rise of oil in the pump is measured to be 600 kilopascals and the motor efficiency is 92%, what is the mechanical efficiency of the pump? Try solving this problem yourself before watching the solution up next. This is the first example for the Efficiency in Thermodynamic Systems 10-minute lecture video. The links to the other examples on this topic and the other lectures of the thermo course are found in the description below. We are being asked to find the mechanical efficiency of the pump. During the main lecture video, we learned that efficiency is net output over net input. In the case of the pump, the net output is going to be the mechanical energy gains, meaning what would be on the right-hand side of the conservation of energy equation. No change in temperature is mentioned. The net input is going to be the work coming in, which is the shaft work used by the pump produced by the motor. If we're being asked about the efficiency of the pump, it means that there are going to be some energy losses, probably in the form of heat. This is why in the conservation of energy equation, W in is not just equal to the right hand side. We could say that W in times an efficiency is equal to the right hand side. But this is the same we already established. Since the motor is drawing 36 kilowatts, but the motor is 92% efficient, it means that the work coming into the pump is 33.12 kilowatts. The kinetic energy is one half of mass flow rate times the difference of the squares in velocity. The potential energy, usually written as mgz, can be written in terms of the pressure gains. If you remember during the first lecture of this course, link below, we showed that the pressure was rho gz, or that the change in pressure was rho g delta z. To go from rho to mass, we would multiply by volume, in this case volumetric flow rate, to get mass flow rate. This means that the change in potential energy can be written as the volumetric flow rate times the change in pressure. By factoring out the volumetric flow rate, we find an expression to find the total mechanical work. We see that we need the velocity of the oil at the inlet and at the exit. Since we have the diameters of the pipes, we can find the areas, and with them, the velocity would be the volumetric flow rate over each area. We substitute these expressions into the energy equation, we substitute all the given values, we correct for units, and we find the mechanical work rate going into the fluid. The efficiency of the pump would be this number, which is our net output, over the work rate coming in from the motor. And done. If you want to check out the other examples for this same topic, the main lecture video, or other lectures of the thermal course and other engineering courses, make sure to check out the links in the description below. Thanks for watching.